Thank you for everyone who's joining us in person and online tonight. As a reminder, public comment will be accepted in person only, and we're live streaming for viewing on Facebook. And as always, there is replay. Um, adequate notice of this meeting, as required by the Open Public Meetings Act, was provided through the posting, mailing, and filing of the annual notice of regularly scheduled meetings of the Town Council on December 13, 2022. The notice was on that date posted on the bulletin board of the municipal building, provided to the Westfield Leader in the Star Ledger, and filed with the clerk of the Town of Westfield. Ms. Lushing, may I have a roll call? Mayor Brindle? Here. Council Members Hockman? Here. Parmalee? Here. Agrippa? Here. Katz? Here. Mackey? Here. Contract? Here. Guardian? Here. Ruth? Here. Please rise for the invocation given by Councilman Katz and remain standing for this salute. We meet to serve our community, to use our resources wisely and well, to represent all members of our community fairly, and to make decisions that promote the common good. We recognize our responsibility to the past and the future, and the rights and needs of both individuals and community. As trusted servants, we seek support on our deliberations and on our efforts here today. May we act wisely and well. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jim, any comments tonight? Yes, just a couple uh, minor things, Mayor. One, uh, just leap collection uh, going very well. We've Public Works has uh, completed its first pass, um, and they're on the second pass. They're in zones, I believe, two and six, I think, um, this week. So again, the season's going very well. We're on pace to complete the collection as we've, as we've advertised by December 16th, and then we'll reevaluate at that point to see if we have to have a remnant pass pickup, which we usually do for a week after that. But uh, this thanks to Public Works for doing a great job, and thanks to the residents who are, those that are getting the Nixle reports, we're having much more success having cars moved as we did last year, and the uh, the Saturday um, pickups are really helping. To be, are proving to be very successful on the roads we can't get to during the week around school areas, particularly. So it's going real. Well. Public Works is doing a great job with that. Um, the second item is just to uh, introduce um, to you in the conference session we did already, but to the public, our new town engineer, Mike McNell. Uh, Mike McNell um, started uh, with us on November thirteenth. Uh, we're going back to the full-time engineering model. I want to thank Dave Battaglia from Van Cleef, who did a really phenomenal job the last two years in a consultant role. Um, it's not so easy to find a full-time, uh, very good uh, town engineer, so it took us a while to do that. But uh, Mike comes to, uh, comes to us um, with nine years uh, of planning and engineering experience from Remington Burnick, uh, which is a very well-known engineering firm, um, and uh, has some Westfield ties as well. His wife was born and raised in Westfield, or raised in Westfield, maybe born. Okay, raised in Westfield, close enough. Um, and so has Westfield ties as well. But that's uh, why so I'm very excited to have full-time engineering back on staff in the town of Westfield. And uh, I'll let Mike say a few words about himself, just introduce himself to the public, so. Hi, uh, my name is Mike Pinnell, as you just heard. Uh, I'm honored that uh, you guys uh, hired me and picked me to lead the engineering for Westfield, and I'm very excited. Uh, to join the team. Everyone has been excellent and super friendly so far, helped me get started, and hopefully I can be here for a long time. And it was very nice to meet everybody today. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Thank exactly. You. And, uh, Chief Dulks has already given him lessons on the planning board protocols, so. Uh, so <laughs> uh, but Mike will obviously be involved in planning and zoning board reviews as necessary. And then uh, obviously be involved in committee work for the town council uh, going forward as, as uh, engineers have done in the past. And Dave is, uh, again, I want to thank Dave Italia. He's uh, really been uh, transitioning with Mike very well and we will continue to do that for the next couple of weeks. Um, and if we need to have uh, his services at our disposal next year, he would do that for us as well. So it's, it'll be a very smooth transition. The public won't see any, any benefit, but uh, Mike was here and uh, ready to serve the residents. So thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Jim. Um, and just a few notes, a few notes for me, primarily about the holiday season, but I do hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving celebration with their families and friends. And now that the holiday season is in full swing, there is incredible amount of events happening around town. Um, of course, they were kicked off last weekend with Small Business Saturday, and of course, last night's lighting of the town Christmas tree. And even though it was moved to Monday, it did not dissipate enthusiasm and the crowds. Um, it was really great to see hundreds and hundreds of people there for Santa's arrivals, which was great. 
Uh, it was really fun. Um, and I would do a big shout out to the downtown Westville Corporation and our public works and fire and police for making that happen. Um, we also look forward to joining all of our Jewish friends and neighbors and anyone else who wants to come out for the annual menorah lighting. That's going to be uh, next week, December 7th at 630. Um, and that's going to be followed by a series of Hanukkah happiness events in downtown from se uh, December 7th through the 9th. And we're also celebrating Kwanzaa in a big way this year. The DWC is hosting the Beauty of Kwanzaa on December 16th. It is at the newly opened Have a Nice Clay location, which is a new, uh, how would you describe it, pottery, make, uh, like, make, make paint your own pottery kind of place on North Avenue um, uh, in the former um, uh, bespoke uh, location. So that is really going to be great. Um, the event is going to honor the rich and meaningful tradition of Kwanzaa. It's a, a seven-day festival that honors African heritage and culture. Um, so whether you're eager to celebrate Kwanzaa or want to learn more, it's an occasion that is going to be open to everybody. It's going to feature face painting for the kids as well as traditional music and artwork on display. So, um, but you do have to register in advance because there's limited capacity at westfieldtoday.com. Um, we're also going to have holiday strollers going through downtown on December 2nd and the 9th from 12 to 10, the harmonics. Um, and there's also, don't forget, free holiday gift wrapping. It is at the One Westfield Place Preview Center at 76 Elm Street um, every weekend now through Christmas. So don't miss that. Just show your uh, bit of receipt from Westfield Business and it's free, um, free gift wrapping. And there's also continued free parking. Uh, which is a very popular thing for everybody, available through January 1st. Um, there's also Pictures with Santa that's going to be held on December 2nd, 3rd, and 10th. Um, a Miracle on Elm Street shopping spree contest, which is already underway. And then just check with the local businesses. There's Every one of them is having a variety of their own amazing events. So um, uh, visit westfieldtoday.com where you'll see a host of series, uh, a series of the events. And again, I do want to thank the Downtown Westfield Corporation, Council Liaison, Council, Council Liaison uh, Linda Hapgood, and the Executive Director, Samantha Horning for bringing all this to fruition. So it is a jam-packed holiday weekend. Um, and I do want to remind everybody, if you're looking for bragging rights for the hol your holiday decor, our rec department has kicked off its holiday lights contest. Registration is open through December 6th. And lastly, the very popular Santa convoy will once again drive through the streets of Westfield on December 16th, courtesy of our police, fire, public works departments, and rescue squad. All of those details can be found on our website. Um, I do want to remind everybody, uh, for 2024 boards and commissions, we are in the midst of an uh, open call for volunteers to fill upcoming vacancies on all the boards, commissions, committees. In particular, I know we're looking for um, volunteers for the Recreation Commission, um, Board of Health, uh, and the Human Relations Advisory Commission, um, the Mental Health Commission, um, and the Green Team uh, just come up, but those I know need have the most volunteer spots available, but please, uh, and there's also new this year, you can click on, you can check for just uh, a one day, a day off event, so as, as needed, uh, just know that your information is available and you can call it, so less of a commitment, but still an opportunity to get involved. Um, and so please, I think the deadline is December 4th. An application takes two minutes. Uh, so please consider submitting an application because it really is the talent and um, uh, energy of our residents that make everything possible. Uh, so in terms of tonight's agenda, I just want to highlight a few key items. On the finance front, we're going to hear an ordinance on second read re reading representing the new salary schedule for the settled contract for the Police Superior Officers Association for the years 2023 to 26 and reflecting really the tremendous value we place on the professionalism and dedication of our police and fire departments. You'll also vote, we'll also vote on a resolution authorizing an award of contract for the purchase and installation of decorative lighting at Minduaskin Park, which is, allows, allows us to complete the addition of three decorative lights around the playground area to improve both visibility and safety. There's also a resolution authorizing the submission of a grant application for the Westfield Fire Department to provide additional personal protective equipment for our firefighters. I do want to thank Fire Chief Delks and Deputy Fire Chief Sawicki for applying for, the, for this grant again this year. So congrats on that. And from the Public Works Committee, we have a resolution authorizing the Union County Deer Management Program once again after four previous successful seasons. This year's program starts on or about December 1st and goes through mid-February within the pre-approved areas of Brightwood Park and a small section of Tobacco's Park wooded area along Lambertsville Road as identified by the county. 
So with that, we will get to tonight's agenda. I do don't want to do a quick shout out though, Jim, not to embarrass you, but for the Westfield High School cross country team, they're going to Oregon this weekend to compete in the nationals as a team, including Jimmy Gilday um, and six of his teammates. It's a big moment, a Nike, it's the Nike National Invitational, right? It's quite a big deal. So they're all heading out to Oregon, I think tomorrow. So best of luck to the Westfield cross country team and, and to Jim and everybody else. So. Just on a, on a side note, we uh, I talked to Sandy Mamory, and we uh, separate from this event, they're doing a great season. Well, we it looks like the team will be coming here on December 12th to be honored for their state championship, which they won a few weeks ago. So, uh, no, thanks again. It was no, nice. it's great. It's very, great. very exciting. So we can't. Best of luck. Um, okay. So with that, um, Miss Lashka, are there any advertised hearings? Mr. Mayor, there are several advertised hearings tonight. First is for community block development grant application for Town of Westfield Recreation Department, senior transportation and programming in the amount of $25,000. Anyone wishing to be heard on this application, please come to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing no one, the mayor, you may close the hearing. This hearing is closed. Second is a community block development grant application for the Westfield Community Center parking lot paving, gym ceiling, and wall repair in the amount of $50,000. Heard on this application, please come to the microphone, state your name, and address for the record. Seeing no one, the mayor, you may close the hearing. This hearing is closed. Third is a community block development grant application for Westfield YMCA for special needs staff in the amount of $56,000. Anyone wishing to be heard on this application, please come to the microphone, state your name, and address for the record. Seeing no one, the mayor, you may close the hearing. This hearing is closed. Fourth is a community block development grant application for Westfield YMCA for materials for two ADA accessible showers and four ADA accessible bathrooms in the amount of $10,500. Anyone wishing to be heard on this application, come to the microphone, state your name, and address for the record. Seeing no one, the mayor may close the hearing. This hearing is closed. Last is general ordinance number 2023-34, fixing the salaries of certain employees of the police and fire departments in the town of Westfield and various amendments thereto. Anyone wishing to be heard on general ordinance number 2023-34, please come to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing no one, the mayor, you may close the hearing. This hearing is closed. Councilman Parmalee, please move for the adoption of general ordinance number 2023-34. No, thanks, Mayor. I'd like to move uh, for the adoption of general ordinance number 2023-34 on second reading, fixing the salaries of certain employees of the police and fire departments in the town of Westfield and various amendments thereto. May I have a second? Second by Councilman uh, Mackey. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Councilmember Tyler? Yes. Parmer? Yes. Agrippa? Yes. Katz? Yes. Mackey? Yes. Contract? Yes. Doria? Yes. Ruth? Yes. Mayor Bindle? Yes. This motion has carried. May I have a motion to approve the minutes for the Town Council Executive Session held on August 15, 2023? The the, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> The Town Council Conference Session and Town Council Regular Meeting held of November 8, 2023. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> the move by De Councilman Mackey, second? Second. Second by Councilman Contract. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. Now it's time for open discussion by citizens. Anyone may come up to the microphone and speak to the Council on any subject on which we have jurisdiction. Please state your name and address for the record and limit your comments to five minutes, please. Good evening, Mayor and Council, Greg Casco, 434 Everson Place. Um, on the heels of what you had announced to the public and uh, Town Administrator Jim Gilday announced, yes, the boys cross country team um, is heading out to Oregon. I'm fortunate to be able to go out tomorrow as well to uh, cheer them on. I've been affiliated with Westfield Cross Country, as some of you may know, since way back. 1970s. In fact, I'm on the Friends of Westfield Track and Field Cross Country Board. And without a doubt, I can say after witnessing 40 plus years of teams go through that high school, um, this team this year has set numerous course records, team combined average times throughout the state as a public school. Westfield can't recruit, but they compete against teams like Christian Brothers and other teams throughout the state, they can recruit runners from different towns, different counties. We see that with Union Catholic. 
Um, Westfield was ranked as high as number seven in the country as of two weeks ago. I think right now going into nationals, they're ranked number 10. Only 22 teams made it to nationals after all the different regionals, 11 regional races around the country the last couple of weeks. So this team is pretty special. I, I can honestly say it's the best cross country team to ever walk the halls of Westfield High School. So congratulations to them. Um, the reason why I am here tonight is because unfortunately I cannot make the next couple of meetings. Travel plans have me away. Um, I wanted to thank those members of the town council that are leaving, um, especially Councilwoman Root, who decided to throw her hat back into the ring and run this past election. Um, I can honestly say that um, your intelligence, your integrity, and your dedication to this town council are definitely worthy of any one of the committees that the mayor has. And I would hope that you continue to volunteer for this town because without you, it'd be a loss. Um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Anybody else? Uh, hearing none, I close this portion of the meeting and, uh, and move to bills and claims and wholeheartedly concur with everything you said, Greg, particularly the comments about Councilman Root. So, Councilman Hapgood. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to move bills and claims in the amount of $329,864.35. May I have a second? Second. Moved by Councilman Contracts. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Opposed? This motion is carried. Next on the agenda is reports of standing committees, beginning with the Finance Policy Committee. Councilman Hapgood. Thank you again, Mayor. I have eight resolutions, seven of which I'd like to move as a package. The first, a resolution authorizing the CFO to refund recreation department fees. Second, a resolution authorizing the CFO to refund fire department permit refund. A resolution authorizing an award contract for the purchase and installation of decorative lighting at Mindoaskin Park. Four, a resolution authorizing the CFO to sign bi-weekly warrants for the 2023 police SOA employee salaries retroactively effective January 1st, 2023. Five, a resolution authorizing the submission of a grant application for the Westfield Fire Department. Six, a resolution to approve insertion of special item of revenue in the municipal budget for the National Opioid Settlement. And seven, a resolution to appoint our new town engineer. May I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Roo. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Opposed? This motion has carried. Next, I'd like to move an author a resolution authorizing the CFO to make a budget transfer. May I have a second? Second. Second by mm -hmm. Councilman Contract. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Council Member Shotgun? Yes. Farmer? Yes. Agrippa? Yes. Pets? Yes. Contract? Yes. Guardian? Yes. Root? Yes. Yes, this motion has carried. And last, Mayor, I'd like to move General Ordinance Number 2023-35 on first reading, an ordinance to amend the town, the code of the town of Westfield Chapter 2, administration and salary schedule, Section 2-12.28 schedule. May I have a second? Second. Signed by Councilor Mackey. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Councilmember Yes. Farmer? Yes. Agrippa? Yes. Pat? Yes. Mackey? Yes. Contract? Yes. Guardian? Yes. Root? Yes. Mayor Yes. This motion has carried. Next up is code review. Councilman Parmalee. Uh, I'd like to move for a resolution to approve a place to place transfer of a liquor license. Um, and may I have a second? Second. Second by Councilmember Agrippa. Thank you. Any discussion? And I think for those that are curious, this is for Sweetwaters, right? Yes. So it's, it's the expansion of their... Sweetwaters is fun. growing. Yes. It'd be very popular. <laughs> All in favor? Yes. 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 Opposed? <laughs> uh, this motion has carried. Councilman Katz, please move public works resolutions. Thank you, Mayor. I have two resolutions I'd like to move as a package. Resolution authorizing an award of contract for the disposal of recyclable material. And... A resolution authorizing the Union County Deer Management Program. May I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Contract. Any discussion? All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? This motion has carried. And before we adjourn, Councilman Contract could ask to say a few words. Yes.
similar to Mr. Casco, this is my last meeting of the year because I'll be traveling at the next meeting. So I just wanted to say thank you to Councilwoman Root, Katz, Lagrippo, and Parmalee. Thank you for, for serving our town. Uh, thank you for running. Thank you for being on the council. Thank you, thank you for putting up with me <laughs> and vice versa. So uh, I think the residents just owe everybody a degree of thanks for what you chose to do. Mark, for 12 years, the rest of you for less, and uh, enjoyed serving, and enjoy your free time. <laughs> yeah. um, so thank you, David. Contract. May I have a motion to adjourn? Moved by Councilman Lagrippo, second. Second by Councilman Dardia. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? This motion is carried and this meeting is adjourned. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.